Hi, it's Yvette. Great to be back on here. Um, I've got a fantastic session for you today. It's quite a short session, sort of 15-20 minutes. Um, that's because a very good friend of mine, Caroline Lowings, who channels the Council of Twelve, um, got in contact with me. She'd had a massive upgrade and was suddenly speaking fluent light language but not just speaking the light language, she was doing lots of symbols with her hands, very synchronistic um, gestures, um, and there was lots more to it, but she, she wanted more information on that if she could gain it. Um, so we did a very impromptu QHHT session, which was, which was brilliant, and she gave me full permission to share this information with you, as there's some very important information and positive information uh, for humanity at this time. So as usual, I've popped it on the screen just to read it out to you. Um, so as Caroline went into trance, um, what are you sensing or feeling at the moment? I'm over the trees. Wonderful, describe them to me. It's a canopy of trees, a green canopy. There's, uh, there's some sea nearby. I'm looking at the top of the trees. What does the sea look like? I can't actually see the sea, I can smell it, um, but I'm not actually looking at it. So do you feel you have a physical body at the moment? No, no physical body. What else do you sense or see around you? Just the sky. So what colour is the sky? It's blue, we're on earth. As you look around, is there anything else that you feel drawn towards? Yes, I'm going down into the trees now. <clears throat> Very good. We are like friends. As you come down and down, just describe to me what you can see all around you. It's dense woodland. The trees are all alive and connected. It's like they're, they're talking to each other and they're happy to see me here. Is there anything else significant as you come down to the ground? No, it's just me. I'm there to see how they're doing. How do you connect with the trees? They just are. I can feel the connection of the trees with each other. I can feel their energy. And it's like I can see inside. How are the trees doing? They're happy. There is a lot of sun and there's enough water so they're well balanced. Look down to where the ground is. Do you have a physical body at all? I can't tell. I want to say there's feet there. So at this point I just asked her to pass her hand in front of her face just to see what she could see if there was anything there. Her response was, my feet are very small, very pale, they look human but they're very very small. Not sure if I'm a child, I'm enjoying the trees, I'm having fun, this feels like home. So do you have any shoes on? No. <coughs> Excuse me. Just look at your body where your body might be and describe what you can see for me. Oh, it's just a naked little body, a little girl, very small. I don't think I can talk language, well, not what anybody else would understand anyway. I just speak child, like child language, very little. But the trees understand me. Very good. As you look at yourself, describe yourself to me. I have pale golden curly hair, just loose curls. As you look around, do you have anybody else with you? I feel safe. I think there must be someone somewhere. I don't really know. I've gotten lost in my own little world, but I feel so safe. As you look down, what does it look like? What does the ground look like? The ground is leaves, twigs and soil. It's warm, so I don't feel cold anywhere. It's a warm place. Excellent. So where do you go next? Is there anything around that you want to take a closer look at? The stars. Let's do that then. What can you see around you? Lots of small white specks. What are these specks? Star systems. Is there one that might be brighter than all the others that seems somehow familiar? Yes, yes, it's on my right. Let's go towards that. It's very bright and at this point she's taking really big deep breaths. There's people waiting for me. What do these people look like? It's my family. Describe, describe them to me. What do they look like, your family? 
They're tall and bright. I can feel the hugs. They're so pleased to see me. It's beautiful. Are there many of them waiting there? There is a lot. Some are more significant and connected to me than others. Describe to me what you can see. The head is oval but pointy, almost at the top, which is pointing like this, and then at the bottom, almost like an almond shape. Although I can't see a chin as it's covered by a high collar. A gold chain around uh, the inside of the collar with a clasp keeping everything together with a small gap. There's a lot of light emanating, so hard to see the pointy bits of the head. They are very bright. There's no mouth, but I can tell that they're smiling. Their eyes are dark and almond shaped, but it's like they could tell a story with their eyes. They hold so much depth. They're holding their arms out to me. And at this point, she said, I feel so homesick. Just want you to describe the arms to me. Well, there's no muscles on them and there's a joint at the elbow, but I can't see if there's a wrist. I can see three fingers, they're quite wide. I feel so homesick. And she just stayed there for a minute. Do they wear any clothes? Just a cloak. And what colour's the cloak? It's white. And do they have any jewellery on at all? The gold around the neck with the clasp. So look down to where your feet might be. What do you see? I don't feel feet. I feel, I feel like I'm a calm energy. I'd like you to ask these people if there's a message that they'd like to give you today or any message at all for humanity. They are saying, don't doubt. Their energy is all around us. They send it out to our planet. They say they're happy with me. What planet are they on? Oh, it's very bright. Sirius. Oh, I feel so homesick. Can they help you with that? They say that it can be difficult, a difficult role to take on the expansion for the individual. It's huge. They are showing me the connection that is always there. It's like, it's a beam of light, like a beam to find us. They say, and at this point she laughs, switch your radar on. <laughs> Could you ask them how we do that? How do we switch our radar on? There is distraction around you. It needs quiet. The best way to do this is to be in nature. That is possible at home. You need to be aware. You need to have an awareness of how distraction works in this life that we have chosen. They are showing me something and at this point she was getting really overwhelmed. Describe it to me as best you can. Mm. It's like a huge beam of light. Whoa, it's intense. And it's it's there all the time. It's all around us. It's, it's like it's beaming down. Where from? Sirius. So what's the benefit of this light? What does it do? They're shining it bright so we can find it. It's very healing. And again, she was becoming all overwhelmed and quite teary. Is that essential for us right now? Yes, yes, they've increased it. So how does it affect our bodies when we find this light? It's connecting through our crown chakra so it goes straight through us into the planet. It's activating Earth. But they're trying to activate the key. As the beam of light comes in, it activates the key. So what's the key? the key to awakening. It's like they're saying, come on, come on. <laughs> you can imagine that, can't you? <laughs> Where is the key to awakening? Where is it? Where is it held? Between the heart and the throat chakra. And at this point she was doing this area here, drawing the energy in. There's a connection there. You can feel it in your heart, but it's like it needs to be spoken at the same time. As you are speaking, the vibration activates it. It's the resonance. You have to speak it and feel it and activate the key. Are there any words that we can speak 
that are at the right frequency. And at this point she had a big smile and she said, I am powerful. I am powerful. The words I am, then whatever positive word you connect to that, it's like a huge unlocking of information. It goes from the heart and she's like, gosh, whoosh up to the brain. Like this is it, this is the key, this is it. And we've all heard the expression, I am that I am, absolutely. And that's what she was getting across here, that the words I am, and then the word after that. And the word that the Council of Twelve gave her was powerful, powerful. How can we encourage more people to step into the light? Do they have to go outside physically or can they activate the key inside their home? They can be anywhere. They need the means to look inside. This is required. If they look inside, they'll feel like a powerful glow here and it's sitting in the chest. It's high up in the chest and just underneath the throat chakra. And this creates a connection between the throat and the heart. And it's like a ball or a, gl a globe she was describing it as. Does this globe have a colour? I want to say turquoise, like a pale, a very pale blue, like stars. Once activated, it's very, very difficult to switch that off, almost impossible. It creates our thirst for knowledge, it creates curiosity and it creates inquisitiveness. How do things look as if they're going at the moment? The timeline is secure. Are we on the best possible timeline? It doesn't feel that way, does it? My response was no, not all the time. <laughs> there have been some dips, but it is secure. There is much to be positive about. There's a lot of talk about the White Hats and Donald Trump releasing more information. And I know that time doesn't exist but just to be cheeky how long will it be before that happens We're sort of waiting in anticipation of the you know moving forward is there any information that you can give me at this time this is down to an individual's reality for some it will appear for others they will not be aware they are not interested it will happen and there will be an awareness and there will be a transition the key here is that it will happen do you have any further information to give Caroline today? She's doing well. She needs to express more. Do not be concerned. What mediums should Caroline express through? And he laughed again and said, her voice, her voice. Can I ask, as humans, what would, what would we call you? I suppose the term would be supreme light beings. We exist in an order created to help and resist this seems an anomaly that will appear so to you. We are expansive in light and in this way it resists the darkness, which must exist in opposition to the light. So you're here to help with the ascension? Hmm. With the ascension and with many things on other planets, although more stable. Are there other people from other planets and beings helping us on earth at this time also. Yes, many are interested, many are watching, many are collecting information. Caroline has recently been channeling a different energy. Could you give her some further information about that please? Caroline is open to various frequencies. She has been focusing on this and her progress is very good. Where are these beings from that she, that she channels? They are not from this solar system. What is their purpose? What are they channeling through Caroline? She's speaking light language and doing lots of symbols, but what's, what's the purpose of it and how can it help us? The planet itself is their main concern. They are interested in the structure of this planet and how it is affected by frequency. Their frequency, the frequency of humans can affect the planet and so they collect information but they must not interrupt the current timeline. They are interested to speak with the humans but they are not allowed to interfere on a big scale. They do have healing modalities 
they do have energy information, it is useful. Do these people, these beings, do they have a physical body? Is it possible to show Caroline what they're like, please? Yes, they are small, their skin is scaly. I feel that you would call them insectoid. They have antennae that help them to collect information from the atmosphere. Caroline had already sensed the healing abilities of these people. As an exchange for the insectoid people using her body and energy, is it fair for her to use the healing ability that they have shown her to heal others and the planet? Yes, quite often when there is connection, there is agreement, it is mutual. Good. Can I ask, are you one of the Council of Twelve who Caroline channels? Yes, I have been nominated a spokesperson. Is there any other information that you can give us at this time that will help humanity? It is important to stay focused on your intent at this time. Do not let fear interrupt your creating. You are very good at creating your reality. Each person must stand as an individual in their connection as they create their own reality. So it will connect. The message must be for love and holding each other up. You will not notice the ones who are left behind. And this sounds harsh in your 3D viewing or physical aspect, but they will not be aware that they have been left behind. Do not worry, they live in the reality of their own making. Is there anything else that you wish to say to Caroline further today? Take care of your physical body, my dear. These are powerful energies, but we are protecting you as we protect many on the planet. Thank you. We are happy to connect, which is wonderful. They always say that. It's lovely, lovely. So I'm going to um, pop at the end of this video um, a uh, an activation, uh, a, an audio of a channeling that Caroline did when she uh, came for this session. Um, and I hope that many of you will resonate with that. It's very, very interesting the way that her light language comes through, very fascinating. And of course, I'll tag uh, Caroline's information below as well. Um, I would definitely check out her blogs, really, really important information. She's channeling on a daily basis, which is absolutely awesome. Um, I hope you have the most amazing afternoon. I have been out in the beautiful countryside um, taking um, full advantage of two working feet. After this week, I very talentedly did a summer somersault, a double somersault, upstairs, tripped over, bust my left ankle and headbutted a closed door full on. Um, so now having a full appreciation of two working feet, <laughs> that was the first thing that I wanted to do was go out and, uh, and ground myself, given as the universe was giving me a good telling off there and needed to get grounded. Um, hope you enjoy the session. As usual, I'm sending a massive wave of love to you all um, and look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Namaste. Hi, going to channel um, a little bit of light language for you. Um, it may take me a little while to get into it, so bear with me. Shut the door, 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 shut the door
っとゴリラパパお腹かすいてるよこちょくとお腹かすいなだなほらたたきおちょっとお腹かすいててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててて